हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन फॉर द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द सेम लेसन ऑफ ज्योग्राफी लेसन नंबर फाइव वाटर टुडे द टॉपिक विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज ओशन सर्कुलेशन नाउ चिल्ड्रन देर इज समथिंग मैजिकल अबाउट वॉकिंग बेर फीट ऑन द सी स्लो द वेट सैंड ऑन द बीच द कूल ब्रीज द सी बर्ड्स द स्मेल ऑफ द सॉल्ट इन द एयर एंड द म्यूजिक ऑफ वेव्स एवरीथिंग इज सो फैसिनेटिंग अनलाइक द काम वॉटर्स ऑफ पॉन्ड्स एंड लेक्स ओशन वॉटर्स कीप मूविंग कंटिन्यूसली इट इज नेवर स्टील एंड दीज मूमेंट्स दैट अकर इन द ओशन is divided is broadly categorized as waves tides and currents the three movements are due to the following reasons the first one is difference in the temperature of ocean water difference in the salinity of sea water third one prevailing winds fourth one gravitational effect of moon fifth one shape of continents affecting the direction of current and the last one is the rotation of earth children because of these reason we see the different movements of ocean water let us see the first one that is the sea waves now children when we talk about the waves when you are playing throw ball on the beach and the ball falls into the water what happens it is fun to watch how the ball gets washed back to the shore by the waves the rise and the fall of water surface due to the force of wind is called sea waves so what are sea waves the rise and the fall of water surface due to the force of wind if the velocity of the wind is low they appear as ripples on the water surface and when the wind speed is high the waves also rise higher and crash against the coast line now children during a storm the winds blowing at a very high speed form the huge waves these may cause tremendous destruction an earthquake a volcanic eruption or underground underwater landslides can shift large amount of ocean water the highest part of the wave is called the crest and the trough the distance from the crest to the trough or the distance from the trough to trough is called the length of the wave or the wave length the vertical height of the crest above the trough is called amplitude or height of the wave now children you know waves are caused by wind the high velocity wind give rise to high waves which are dangerous particularly for the ships such waves and cyclones cause huge destruction of life and property on the eastern coast of india as a result a huge tidal wave called tsunami that may be as high as 15 meter is formed the largest tsunami speed of more than 700 km the largest tsunami ever measured was 150 meter high these waves travel at a speed of more than 700 km per hour now children the tsunami is a japanese word made up of two parts su means harbor and nami means a long waves 
tsunami refers to a series of long destructive waves striking the harbor better known as tidal waves or giant waves it is triggered by an instant powerful earthquake on the ocean floor and then the waves start rolling across the sea it may rise high it may rise as high as 100 feet and above also it can flow at a speed of over 700 km per hour the tsunami of 2004 caused wide spread damage in the coastal areas of india and the indira point in the andaman and nicobar island gets got submerged after the tsunami children nobody can ever forget the 26th december 2004 when the tsunami hit the indian ocean and caused the massive destruction to life and property more than 5000 person killed became victim of the tidal wave children in your textbook on page number 34 and 35 a description about the tsunami of 26th december 2000 is given just read this information very carefully to understand how the tsunami record how the tsunami destructed the life and property and how dangerous this tsunami waves are now this is about the waves now children let us move towards the another moment that is tides the mic rise and fall of ocean water twice in a day is called a tide it is high tide when water covers much of the shore by rising to its highest level and it is low tide when water falls to its lowest level and recedes from the shore children it is rise and fall in the level of the sea water twice daily due to the gravitational pull of moon and partially of the earth now why do we see the to uh, why why do we see the rise and fall in the level of the sea due to the gravitational pull of moon and partially of the earth tide can be observed in the coastal area where the level of the sea water rises and fall rising sea level is high tide and its falling back is low tide now children you know during full moon and new moon the level of the sea water rises to its maximum which is called the spring tide and on half moon night the sea water level lowers which is known as neap tides tides are useful to us when as they help in the navigation and fishing at high tide the depth of the seas particularly the gulfs and the bays increases this enable the weak ships to enter or leave the harbors easily now due to the high tide in the hugli river the depth of the water increases and as a result the big ships enter and leave kolkata port which is situated on the bank of this river now some ports such as kandla in gujarat and diamond harbor in west bengal depend on tides most of the important ports of the world such as london hamburg new york and rotterdam are on the tidal river now tides at some places also take away the mud which is brought down by the rivers and prevent slitting slitting of harbors thus tide makes the river suitable for navigation now children also it is given that these 
टाइड्स हाई टाइड्स हेल्प इन नेविगेशन दे रेज द वॉटर लेवल क्लोज टू द शोर दिस हेल्प द शिप्स टू अराइव एट अ हार्बर मोर इजीली द हाई टाइड्स ऑल्सो हेल्प इन फिशिंग many more fish come closer to the shore during the high tide and this enables the fisherman to get a plentiful catch so children this is about the tides why do we see the different types of tides and when does this occurs and what are the reasons then the last one is the ocean current ocean currents are the streams of water flowing con constantly on the ocean surface in definite direction the ocean current may be warm or cold generally the warm cur ocean currents originate near the equator and move towards the poles the cold currents carry water from polar or higher altitudes to tropical or lower latitudes now children the regular movement of the mass of water is defined direction over the long distances inside the ocean is called the ocean current it is like a river of water having different temperatures then surrounding water inside ocean now there are two types of ocean currents warm ocean current and cold ocean current now warm ocean currents bring about the warm temperature over land surface and the areas where the warm and the cold current meet provide the best fishing grounds of the world now seas around japan and the eastern coast of north america are such examples now children the warm ocean currents the ocean currents flowing from the warm areas of tropical oceans towards the cold areas of the temperate and the subpolar zones are called warm ocean currents the temperature is higher than the surrounding water and this what is about the cold ocean currents the temperature of these ocean current is cooler they flow from cooler they flow from cold polar oceanic water to warm tropical regions so children this is about the circulation of the oceans so today we have studied about the three movements of the ocean water that is the sea waves tides and ocean currents so children today we have completed the lesson read the lesson thoroughly and try to understand the concept thank you